A waffle chart is a square grid where each square represents a proportion of the whole. So here you have an example of how waffle charts can look like. And that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how to create these using only one custom visual from Microsoft. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the chart that we're going to recreate. It is four waffle charts for each category. I have a duplicate here for that without the waffle charts. So let's start creating. What we need to do is, first of all, look at the data. The data is actually quite simple. These are the categories, true or false. So seven people are of 100 have college degree. That's why it says true, 93 though it doesn't. So if you get rid of the false, then you get the values that we see on the waffle chart. And for that, we are going to, whatever is in here in this page, we want to have hazard not true. We don't want to display the false values. Right, so we need a category, and then we need to have value. And now we're going to go to get more visuals and get the infographic designer Visual created by Microsoft. You can tell your admins that this is created by Microsoft, it's certified, so there shouldn't be no problem for you to get it, okay? I will re-download it. Is this rose that you see in there? <laughs> Whatever I should call it. And there we have it. So this is what the steps that we need to take to create that. First, we need to move the category to column by. And then you're going to get like a card visual, quite interesting, right? So you can see that you get the raw values. Uh, would you mind, please? Okay, now you see the pen? We're going to click on that and then expand so we can actually see something. And we're going to start recreating the, um, the waffle. So we're going to add, now there's just one layer, we are going to add another layer it's going to be on top, and we need to put it in the back, we will do later, where we will have the icons that we want. We're going to start with a simple square, like the waffle charts you shall are, and then we will change it, don't worry. So this is it. We're going to have multiple units, and we're going to have row count of 10 by 10. So th this is 10 by 10 is 100, okay? Now you can see that the numbers are below. We need to go in here and say, send the one that I have to the back. And it goes to the back, <laughs> beautiful. Now, what else do we need to do? We need to color by percentage, so value. And as you can see here, it's, it, if you just do value, you do nothing else. It doesn't really make sense because what it's doing is, is getting this as 100% and then doing percentage all that one and that's not what we want what we want is to have a val value of a hundred i would love these to be binded to a measure but it's not possible unfortunately so yeah so there we have it we go back to the report it's actually nice to go back because when you have it in like focus modes everything gets like blown up so it's good to now and then go back and close everything to see the actual sizes of things because as you can see the numbers are not as small as you as they looked so we're going to go to the format pane we're going to get rid of the title we don't want it and then so i don't want the title thank you very much okay so what we want to do now is the colors and to add the circle that you can see in there so go back to the edit go to the focus mode and then we're going to have, we're on the text. We don't want to be on the text, we want to be on the shape. For the known value color, I am going to put E7, 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 which is a little bit toned down gray, so you can actually see better. Now, as you can see, I had different icon for each of the waffles. You don't need to do it. As you can see, actually, it looks pretty nice without it. I'm going to finish it and then we change the icons better. So let's do the circles now instead. So to do this circle that I have rounded the data, the, this, the data label, I did like that. I added a new shape and it's going to be this one, the circle shape. I am going to color it. It's going to be white. 
Okay, lovely. And now the layout is basically, if you see this orange line, it tells you where the shape can be in the canvas. The canvas is the big one thing there. So here you can adjust where to put things in the canvas. And I'm going to put it 30% from each of the sides. So I'm going to go here and put 30% go here and put 30%. You'll see what it does. Lovely. It looks cramped, but it's not because when I close everything, you can see that if we resize this properly, because this is a square, you see that it gets a circle. Lovely. That's what we want. Now, we don't see the data labels because we need to change the order of the layers. So this needs to move to send to back, not to back back, actually. We need to bring forward. Right, exactly. That's what we want, the way we want it, back. And as you can see, it didn't do it. Here's the thing, this visual gets stuck from time to time. So what you need to do, or at least what works for me, is you go in here, you change it to whatever, I change it to a table, and then I change it back to the infographic. And then it's like it refreshes, so I can actually do the stuff. And then it, it works, you saw it? So really weird. So if you get stuck and it doesn't get, it's not responsive, just change it to another view cell and then come back. Um, then we're going to do the round red circle and we need to do the exact same thing. So we're going to put it 30% and then close here, close there and look how pretty it looks. Now, my chart had different icons for each of the waffles. It's up to you if you want to do it. Sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. So what we are going to do is show you how to do it but you don't have to. I think it's a, a little bit, well, it, it depends because this is just for fun. Maybe you can actually have different icons. So how do you change the icons? You need to first find the original icon, which is probably shape two, this one. Now, do you see this? It means that you can bind to a field, which is very, very nice. So the shape, we're going to go here and say, we want to bind it with the category. So for shelter, I'm going to pick beds. For men, I'm going to pick a man, <laughs> people. For poor, I'm going to pick the dollar sign. You can actually pick something else. And then for college degree, I didn't find anywhere a college degree icon. So you can upload your own or from a URL. I'm going to upload it. It's going to upload upside down. so. So I'm going to upload it. It uploaded upside down. You need to turn it around. But yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do it because this is just for the more purposes, but it is upside down, just so you know. Back to report. Close here. And there you have our small multiples waffle chart. Isn't this wonderful? Now, I wish I could have like a custom legend. It does not allow me to in here for the category, I cannot have a measure. I have actually a measure that tells me what the title is that generates these titles, not allowed. So the titles here are actually, is the same visualization, but instead of using icons, it's just showing text. Okay, so you can see it there, but I'll show you how to do that on a separate video.